Hiya folks, welcome back to Dad's UK farm. You can tell we're in the UK, it's paying it down. Um, I was supposed to be cutting the grass today, but that doesn't look like it's going to happen at the minute. Having said that, if you look at the weather forecast, top right, raining at the minute, but it is forecast for the sun to come out, so we might just have to wait for a little while, but uh, it's absolutely chucking it down at the minute. But it is good for the grass. We are ready to harvest. Definitely ready to harvest. Got a lot to do. I might just go for a cup of tea and uh, in the meantime uh, wait for this rain to stop. Right, I think it's eased off a bit. It's still a bit drizzly but... Um it's easing off. Look, we've got a bit of blue sky up there. We've got quite a bit of equipment to get for this. And uh, we've got £102,861 in the bank at the minute. And I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to buy the mowers. Because I'm going to use them all the time. I need them. I'm going to hire a tractor, buy the mowers. That's my plan of attack at the minute. So I'm going to go straight for the Novacat 301ED by yes and I'm gonna go for the Novacat X8ED as well great combo these two yes thank you so I've still got 41,000 but I do need to hire a tractor now horsepower that needs 70 that needs 160 let's assume that it's gonna need like a combined figure. So what's that? It's a 230 horsepower we're going to need. Can we go for the case? Uh, that's 170. That'll be 261 horsepower. That would do the job. 7,318 to hire that. What else could we do? No, that's not enough. Let's just go for the case. I quite like this tractor with a big engine lease yes Right, let's cut some grass. Okay, that's the big field done. I've still got the little field to do, but I've got a little bit of a dilemma here. 
because it's quarter past one in the afternoon and obviously I need to bail this. Now I would normally do the two cut method that I've chatted about on other videos and that gets you a much higher yield in terms of how much grass silage you're going to get from this. But the problem is if I do a two cut method I'm going to have to wait for this grass to grow again. I'm going to have to hire the tractor again. I still need to hire the baler and I've only got 34,000 in the bank. I've really not got much money. Now, what is the price of grass silage at the minute? Let's have a quick look. So grass silage is at 346 pounds at the minute, but it's going down. So that means uh, 346 is is pretty decent price. I could make quite a bit of money and sell all the silage at 346 at the minute and uh, do all right out of that. Yes, I would get a lot more if I do the two cut method and wait for another growth cycle but uh, potentially the silage is going to be worth a lot less and I'm going to be very very close to having zero money 34,000 at the minute so the tractor I think is uh, how much is the tractor that is so I'm on the 2250 uh, it's 1435 per day and then I've still got the um, the baler to hire as well and that's going to be 3,876 you know what it is I am going to do the two cut method think it's not going to cost us that much extra and I think the extra yield that I'm going to get is going to make it worthwhile so uh, let me cut the other little field I'm not going to show you the whole cycle of cutting it all over again and we'll come back to windrow it and uh, bale it and sell it. I think that's going to be the best approach for a day. We've done quite a lot. Let's get the other field cut.